and I did read that book. Um, so we got possible witches involved, or not witches, witch. If you read, um, what the fuck's the name of the book? I was just in here looking at it. Yes, I know you're on loose frames for a second. Yeah, if you actually read this book when I was showing it, there's some pretty dark shit going on. Man, let's not waste any time. Let's head into the catacombs. At the end of this series, I plan on summarizing what I think is happening. Granted, I could be completely wrong. Because I'm not a lore master. I listen to lore videos, not make them. So, either way. Whenever screen's loading, I'm going to go ahead and theorycraft a bit. So, it could possibly be a curse made by the witch. Because if you read it, it talked about how she was a pretty damn powerful witch. She... Somebody could have broke the promise and talked. And she could have cursed the island. Or someone from that ship could have been sick and got caught. And the best to be fighting with the torch. Come on, fucker. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, bitch, I got combat rolls. Oh, he didn't get staggered. That's a bit annoying. Now we've already picked up gear for him. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it a little bit of health potions, since he did damage us a little bit. I feel like I'm cheating, but I don't care. He broke? That's this big guy's fault. That is none of my concern. Oh wait, he got staggered again finally. He might break out of it. Nope, free air. Cool. Let's see what this big fuck had on it. A knight's battle axe. Okay, big boy had to be guarding something. Unless it was just his weapon. I mean, even if it wasn't anything, we still got... It's gonna be a little dark here. Not much of a stealth character on this one, but we're gonna go ahead and get some stealth shots off here. Okay, 
back to the torch. Ooh, another Eldritch page. This motherfucker took a lot of arrows. He had a nice thing. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm gonna read this Eldritch page. You are overcome by the fierce hunger for the other pages. And a Night Warhammer. Ooh! That looks nice. I like that. Okay, we can go down further. Well, obviously, we're gonna go down further, but we're gonna check out what this room has to offer. I'm gonna guess there's probably another ritualist somewhere down here, seeing how there's corpses rising. But granted, that's been going on in the. Don't think I didn't see you. Why did I unready my weapon? I know there's gonna be more. around this corner. Yeah. Oh, that's more than I want to deal with. That's more than I want to deal with solo. Let me rephrase that. Let's go hand level. Yeah, I got brain rot. I don't care. Let's start making this axe more lethal. Bleed like the lamb. shots off on him. Silver Elite Greatsword. Well, that looks nice. Let's grab it. If we find a nice fucking axe here, that'd be pretty cool. Silver axe would be fucking nice. It would fit the family well. Oh. Oh, looks like we're getting two locations in one in this video. The catacombs deeps. Let's see what spooky shit we find here. Yeah, during these I'm probably going to talk about lore and shit I found out. But yeah, apparently there's this island that appears every 10 years in between um pharaohs and it's on and from what i read what i read it's only on stormy nights so we know the witch is causing these storms so maybe after we beat this little mod when we're going back we might run into her island which would be pretty cool if we have to go head to head with that witch if we don't so be it but it'd still be pretty cool to get our asses absolutely kicked. Because, like you're seeing, this is a fucking level 15, well, 17 character now. She has zero good enchanted gear. Her smithing isn't even that good. So, bosses are gonna be a huge pain in the ass for us. Alright, let's continue moving. Oh, this looks cozy. I feel right at home. I'm gonna guess. I don't know why I put that away. 
I see we have the stuff for, um... Yeah, let's get these alchemical ingredients. They're coming in handy later. Now, who knows what we'll run into down here. Because this doesn't look like we're a place where we're going to run into too many skeletons. Something a little more... Supernatural nature. Okay, now that sounds like skeletons aren't supernatural. Something of a more magical nature. Because <laughs> skeletons, um... Can't tell, they're pretty dead. And... Before we head up that way... I feel like... Is there something hit over here? No, okay. Okay. Good. No, oh, and if you're wondering what the spell is that's making me auto equipped spells, it's Occult Radical. I think it's from, um, not Forgotten Magic, um, Apocalypse Magic. Something just aggroed. Oh, it drew its weapon. Ah, an old fort. More. Let's go ahead and get back up since there's a good bit coming. Oh my god, you can't see. No, you don't, bitch. She's not gonna last long here. Oh, and one of those is a fucking... Elite. Okay, these guys seem to be broken, because he's not doing anything. Are they called Shadow because they just follow you? Your armor would fucking be nice to down there. I'm gonna keep checking them because you never know if one of them's carrying like a unique. But it doesn't look like it. So let's continue moving forward, see if we find anything in these. Everything just reapplied. I know it's all over this way, so I guess let's check it out. Looks like maybe a barracks. more of those because I'm going to get fucking over encumbered if I keep doing that. But we are going to keep searching them in case there's torches. I should have been more prepared with the torches and been carrying a good bit. So either it's down below us or it's above us. How do we go up? It's a ritualist. I can hear the breathing. It doesn't look like there's a way up from here. So there must be a, um... Or maybe there is. Maybe I'm missing something here. No, okay. I guess we'll come back here in a little bit. I'll come back here off stream. Off stream. Off recording. And see if I can find a way up. I'll come through on my main and see if I can find my way up here. Because I'm not going to waste your guys' time by looking for an entrance. I don't know where it is. It's probably a loop around thing anyways. So we just killed an army of skeletons. So I guess let's start exploring the rest of this place. You guys want to lore craft down in the comments? Go ahead. 
is... Wait, this bitch might have the key. No, it looks like she might be up here. Maybe, so... Why would they need to build this? Underneath the catacombs at that. I guess this bitch is right here. Oh, it's one of you. You're not gonna hurt me. Thank you for leveling up my one-handed, bud. Actually, let's level up archery a little bit for bosses later. And This shit is pitch black. I should have got a helmet of fucking night vision. Don't move around, buddy. Stand there and be a good pin cushion. To be honest, I should be saving these arrows though, just in case there is a dragon boss. But I think I got plenty of steel, so it doesn't matter. We have to see if other people ran into this, because it... these guys just seem to be very fucking passive, even though they're supposed to be aggressive. They take a lot of fucking arrows, though. And they regenerate. Decently quick at that. Don't run, you motherfucker. You caused this by being a passive bitch. Fuck, I didn't mean to pick up his axe. Oh, I almost dropped the fuck out of him. I'm probably gonna have to call Sophia. Yep. So there's a fucking ritualist here. We know that much. We heard the bitch. Ooh, 25 crowns. Some... A silver ingot. And plenty of lockpicks. I don't need the leather just right now. Ah. Somebody sealed the place off. So that means there's something here people didn't want... ...us to find. Ooh, sewer gate key is what we're on it. Oh, bonfire. That equals quick save. All right. Oh, it cannot be. So where do we go? There must be something in that sewer we're missing because I can't continue in either of these directions. Unless... Oh! Hey there! Who's... Cunt! <laughs> I already got brain rot. I'm not afraid of you getting me sick. Fucking hell, bitch. No, okay. Oh! You fucking spooked me, you cunt! Okay. Why are you skeleton knights being so passive? to look into this, because I don't feel like they should be this fucking passive. I mean, obviously, they're enemies. They're not supposed to be passive in general. But it's just way too passive. Because I know AI sometimes decides not to hit and be defensive, but these things just aren't hitting at all. The ones that the one-handed weapons do, it's the ones with two-handed weapons that refuse to hit. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. He's like a lost puppy. Come on, buddy. We're gonna go look around. You know, it'd be nice, though, is if you had a torch or something. We're gonna call him Charles. Call him Charles. 
we're, we're kill him later. I don't need to kill him right now. It's not like he's a threat in the slightest. Watch him fucking start attacking once I do something. Okay, come here, puppy. Just don't get distracted on that, you fucking idiot. Oh shit, there's a one-handed one. Yeah, see, it's only the ones with one hand. Maybe the combat overhaul mod is messing with their AI, so I might have to turn it off for this playthrough. Because I think that- oh my fucking god, I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, the brain rot's actually staring the matter. I can't see. Fuck off. Okay. That's him down. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of him after I take care of this pup. Because it's the dangerous one here. Especially since it causes frost damage. Get back here, you fucking mutt! This fucking dog is a pussy! Get the fuck over here, you mutt! It should bleed out. You. Should have left fucking archery bleed on. I don't want to make this even harder for myself. This would go a lot quicker from still on. Okay, we're not gonna spend a fucking hour killing you with this. We're gonna summon you in to fucking help. There we go. Those fucking dogs are annoying. I have to check all of them out, just to make sure they don't drop an Eldritch Page. Actually, we should pray real quick. I don't think I can do that while there's a light on. Okay, let's continue. Fucking hell. But yeah, I think it's the combat gameplay overall. It's messing with the skeleton AI. Okay, let's continue. Fucking hell. I might find a box to throw all my other potions in and only use this distilled shit. So I feel like that would be more fucking immersive for the mo- I saw a bitch's hand go through that door. I'll be back for you. Actually, no. Let's fucking kill whatever's in there. Nope, requires key. Never mind. It's a door outside. Now, this was a fucking fort fight. And. I'm not scared of you. You're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna do anything, so saw it off. This one will, though. I'm waiting for this knight, this fucking big guy beside me to hit me with that axe. If that guy does, like, 
one tenth of my HP in one hit. The big guy's gonna do a hell of a lot more. Okay, I'm just taking care of you. Oh, you're not even an advanced one. You're just a basic bitch. Oh, yeah, I need to check you for any Aldrich pages. No, okay. This is probably dumb. Running. Okay. Dodge that. There's no point of running away, since he's just gonna fucking pull out his bow. Seeing how it's named Skeleton Archer, I highly doubt that the uh, that he has less skill with the bow. Cool. He would have done a double hit. I could have possibly died there. That was dumb. I should have stopped and healed. Let's actually pop a blood essence to start healing. Not seeing anything back here. Oh. Hey, big guy. Yeah, okay. I'll have to come back through on a. Um, I'll have to come back through and check if it's that causing it. If it's that causing it, fuck. That's annoying. Like, it's fine. I don't need combat. It's gameplay over off. Oh shit, yeah. I need to check him for an Eldritch page. No, okay. I'm not scared. I see it just takes a lot of fun out of it because they're no longer even a threat. Jeller's key. That might open the doors downstairs. Were you the jailer? No, you're just in the late night shadow. I'll definitely have to come through on my main character and do some of the shit. See if I miss anything. And and I'm going to actually um probably leave this place and come back to get the cho the um, unique torch that never runs out. And it blocks damage, so it'll be very useful for exploring these dark caverns. Or dark caverns, dark fort. Yep, see? This is why you check it, kids. Got another Eldritch page. Okay, that goes out to Pharos. We're not done in this place, though. A lot of burned books. Oh, we got a fucking journal. And it looks like this will be the last journal of the episode. Let's see how far it goes. Okay. Third of Rain Hand. The cargo is finally secure. The Voyagers will be selling tomorrow for Northwell as scheduled. What a relief. I can finally have my quarters back. And now that the Knight Commander has returned to Sea Rock Castle. Now that the... Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Never mind. Sixth of Rain Hand. More reports of sick workers came, came in this morning. Same symptoms. Some of my men are also feeling unwell. I'm afraid there is no coincidence. Six of my men and several workers were cut down by an unknown force. The report says it came from the ruins. I will leave with a full... Regiment in the morning to assess the situation personally. Ooh. So, something attacked them. Okay, I guess let's get back down to the bonfire and we're ended there. That's. Okay, I'm assuming this is the right way. Keep going, yeah. Let's get back to this bonfire. I wonder. Okay. 
I should have waited until next episode to open this, because now we gotta look at this fugly bastard, but... Whatever. But yeah. Where was it? So... Hmm. Kind of hard to know exactly what's going on here. Because the other journal was talking about how the commander was having... Um, the knights kill those that were sick. And then there's this captain who's like, I heard that they were cut, that an unknown force was killing them all. So maybe some shapeshifters or something? I don't know. Is that a thing in Skyrim? <sighs> I mean, it could be a thing in Pharos. It is a new fucking region. Sorry, I don't got time to fight you. I have to go. Fecker. Okay, let's get back down there. Oh, and we can check if this key will open those other cell doors down at base level. If it does, we got more of this place to explore. What the fuck was the name of this place again? Let's go find that bonfire and quick save. I think it was right here. There we go. So, we got our path set for the next episode. We're gonna head down that corridor. As always, I hope you enjoyed. You did? Hit that like and subscribe. Tomorrow, we will adventure forward into Pharaoh's Fortress. I totally wasn't checking to make sure I got the name right. But yeah, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want it. If you want, um, theorycraft. But, um, yeah, I'll talk to you all in the next one. See ya.